hey hi everyone welcome to our new video i have found another free ai code generator and it is completely free here you see that i have generated this habit tracker dashboard and it is a fully functional website and i have not written any code i have generated this fully functional website using ai and here you see that if i click on this have add habit then also it is working and this uh, drop down all of this functionality you will get um, if you use this website okay and also uh, here you see that full access to GPT 4.0 or Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and 500k free daily token and 10 million free monthly token. Okay, and uh, here you see that zero dollar per month. So that means for free you will get access to GPT 4.0 and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and you will get the best output. Here you see that like this. Okay, so let me tell you the uh, AI coder name. The name is this Tempo Labs. So here you see that Tempo Labs. I have given the link in the description box and if you come to this website uh, they are they have uh, written many things like uh, if you upload a image and if you ask it to implement that then also it will do that and also if i if you scroll down below here you see that um, they have written works with any react code base means if you have any existing code base then you can upload that code base here and you can uh, implement your requirements Okay, all of these things you can do and also they have given this uh, visit reactcomponents.com. If you go to this website, then you will get for uh, free react components that you can integrate in your project. Okay, all of these things you can do. Now let me show you how to uh, log in to this website. So click on this get started for free and after that you will find this type of login page. So make sure you have a GitHub account, otherwise you will not be able to log in. So click on this continue with GitHub and give the permission, the authorization and after that you will find the dashboard. Okay. So I have generated this, uh, this website, this habit tracker dashboard and here you see that on the left hand side as I have used uh, some of the tokens, it is showing that I have used 44k tokens. As I have already told you that daily you will get 500k free daily token and here you see that I have used 44k daily token. Now many tokens are left also. Uh, what I have asked it to implement, uh, let me show you that. So I have asked it uh, to build a habit tracker. So let me show you the prompt. Uh, the prompt was, let me show you, uh, yes, this was the prompt that build a simple app to track daily habit streaks and these are the features that I want. You see that I asked it to uh, make the calendar view and motivational stats, all of these things and this tracker for daily habits and streaks. Okay, so if you go to this website here, you see that these motivational messages, they had added this calendar picker and this uh, streak statistics, all of these things they have added. So you just have to tell it that I need this, it will do all of these things. Okay, now let me uh, show you another website. So there are uh, many websites like um, I can I can implement this simple e-commerce app. So let's try this. Okay, so just copy this prompt. Actually, I have generated all of these app ideas using chat GPT. You can also do that. Uh, like I want to build this app. Give me uh, some prompts or ideas right uh, like that. Okay, so let me copy this simple e-commerce app prompt. Now let me go to my tempo labs. And here I will click on this generate new app. Otherwise, if you have a GitHub repository, then also you can link that here and also design on black canvas means uh, you have some design in your mind. Then um, you can draw the canvas here and ask it to implement, right? So there are three ways you can use it and it is completely free. So let me click on this generate new app. And after that, click on this next on the right hand side uh, below. Uh, follow my cursor. Okay, after that, it will ask you to enter the prompt. So enter the prompt here, a basic app to browse products and ask them and add them to a cart and simulate checkout, right? So instead of app, I will write here website. Okay, and here you see that product filtering and a payment gateway. All of these things I will add here, click on this generate. But here you see that there is another option this uh, file upload or screenshot upload, uh, whatever you can, uh, up, you want to upload, uh, you can do that. Okay, suppose you have a app idea or some cool interface. So in that case, you can upload that screenshot or image here. Okay, now I will simply click on this generate. And after that, you will see that it will add some of the flows here. See here, 
it is writing the prompt and all of these things and below it is generating the user flow here you see that what user will do it will uh, generate that like user will come to the page and after that he will search and it will do the he will do the filter all of these things uh, he will do right and here you see that it is generating the step by step process it is very interesting guys when i uh, saw this website then i was like literally amazed because uh, it has generated the this habit tracker website that i have asked for you see that with one prompt with only one prompt the prompt was this with only one prompt it has generated the whole app and you see that it is looking very cool okay and our app is getting generated here you see and on the left hand side here you see they have given some of the progress like wireframes that is very much necessary and creating routes generating product card that i have asked for the e-commerce generating header filtering sidebar generating product grid generating checkout model generating home route means you can add the payment gateway also and here you see this is the product grid you see it is looking very cool right so it is actually doing all of these things one by one and here we will see the preview uh, here you see that the preview is ready here this is the page structure like in this way you will find this uh, product price add to cart add to cart option all of these things okay and here you see that uh, we got the message generated and here you see that this is a checkout page like uh, how much products you have added and this uh, this expired cpb means the credit card debit card payment gateway that they have added okay now you will see the fully functional website uh, here okay here in this area now let me show you here you see that uh, this is the price range rating filter uh, things that they have added and here you see that there is a cool um, this header categories deals search products and this uh, add to card option also and um, and and one of the interesting thing is that uh, you can share this uh, website with anyone they have given this url here you see that follow my cursor this is the url that you can share with anyone so if i uh, click on this pp win tab then in this url you will see here you see this is the this is the website if i click on this add to cart here you see that it got increased to three now you see it is uh, showing three now if i add anything if i click on the add to cart here you see that it got increased to four that means it is completely working and fully functional work uh, uh, website guys and let me show you that if the search functionality also working so if i click on the watch so currently i think this uh, search functionality is not working so i need to tell this that search is not working please implement this search also if i go to this filter here you see that it has um, implemented all, all of these things and this price range also rating also that they have implemented okay so here you see that the you will get the cool website and uh, good looking things so checkout page is very much interest interesting and here you see that the validation is also there if i if i don't give anything like card number expired and click on this pay it will ask me to fill all of this field okay so now in this way you can uh, ask it so on the left hand side here you see that you can ask it that i have this problem that filter is not working so now it will implement that also and here you see that after asking this um, or after making these two app one is this habit tracker another one is this uh, this eco simple e-commerce app i have used only 97k token and uh, uh, 500k daily token you will get okay so i hope uh, with this limitation you will be able to build the entire website because with one prompt they are giving this so much cool functional website and um, please try this on your own and let me know in the comment section that how much uh, this website has a capability okay so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and if you are visiting this channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also guys so see you see you guys in the next video thanks for watching